Hello everyone, working on 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 <coughs> and it's uh, four wheel drive. And uh, I have, I have three lights on. So what I have is the ABS traction control and also service four-wheel drive so what I have done <coughs> excuse me so what I have done is I, I have connected um, it's this Foxwell Auto Master Pro um, <coughs> and what I have found when I'll go into, uh, uh, let me see here. So if you have the same system, you, pro you probably know how to uh, have it, but it, um, how to make it. But I went into the auto win, VIN, and I pressed OK. Then uh, automatically VIN acquisition. So this is the VIN. Then I pressed, um, that's correct, VIN. That's give me <coughs> 2000, <coughs> excuse me, 2011 Dodge Ram 1500. And I press OK. And I did a <coughs> quick scan. OK. <coughs> excuse me. I'm coming down with COVID, uh, already feeling much better, but uh, just coughing a little bit. So execute the test. So he's doing the powertrain control module. No fault, airbags, no fault, ABS, one fault. We go into here. read codes okay and what i have is a right rear wheel speed sensor circuit so it's it's the rear passenger side wheel so um i what i have done i have switched i have switched the sensors from this wheel uh to to that wheel so i i switch them to see if it's a bad sensor and the sensor was okay because when I switched them it's it still showed me that that side the circuit was broken so um, when I got the wheel off <coughs> excuse me when I got the wheel off I noticed that one one person has already worked on this truck before, and uh, you can see this uh, wire right here. It was connected. I I, I already uh, cut it off, and it was connected to the to the sensor here. But I noticed it, it had already one wire going with it, and connected to. Uh, green wire it was cut here and this wire was connected so that means the circuit was already broken and they already fixed it with with another wire so uh, I thought this connection was loose I connected it uh, but it didn't fix the problem so what I have done is I completely cut this uh, wire off here's here is the, uh, that sensor. Uh, I took it off right now just to show you guys what I have done. Uh, so just one second. So, <clears throat> so it was this sensor. It's it goes, it goes inside, uh, right there in the wheel. But uh, what I've done, I've cut that wire off completely. This is the wire that the previous uh, person already wired it. Uh, 
But what, I, what I've done is I completely cut it off and I just got a wire, just a regular wire. I connected them um, white to white and the, and the green one to the black one. And, uh, and then I have followed to see which colors uh, right here up on this wire, they're white and green, as you can see right there. But uh, it changes colors once you once you start following it. It changes colors uh, to so. I'm going right now to the driver's side. I'm going to the driver's side right now, and uh, under under the driver's side wheel, right in here, you'll have this, this connector right here, okay? This this goes into uh, into your hood already, all those, those wires. And this wire, all, all those wires, they come from, from behind the truck, <clears throat> okay? This wire right here, <coughs> excuse me, was already wired uh, from a previous owner. Okay, so I've connected this one to the to the black, and then I have connected uh, the white wire. So the white wire changes color to green and orange, green and orange. There's another wire right here. That, uh, as you can see right there, it's kind of like light green. So don't mess with that wire. Uh, it's gonna be green and orange. That would be your white wire that is on that sensor, okay? And this wire, it's the green wire that is on the sensor. It is green with blue. Green with blue. Uh, let me see here. Uh, green with light blue. I would say it this way. Uh, green, oh, right there. Green with light blue. You can see right there. Green, light blue. There's another wire right here that is that is green. Right there. You, see, you can see that green with kind of like white. That's not the right one. It's gonna be green with light blue. All right, green and light blue, it goes into the green connection. Green and orange, it goes to the white connector. So I did the hot wire, and you can see that, that wire, and it goes to this, that sensor right there. And uh, once, once I hot wired it uh, to see if, if my circuit the, the wire is broken somewhere. Uh, so once I've done that, I didn't even, I didn't even, even cleared my codes on the computer. And you can see that the wire, you can see that the, everything is gone now. The ABS, the traction control is gone and uh, service four-wheel drive also gone so what I need to do now uh, is I'm gonna just buy a wire the the the, the two-way wire it's probably <coughs> excuse me it's probably uh, 16 gauge maybe 18 gauge I'm guessing and I'm gonna hot wire it uh, instead of instead of all those wires right here that goes to that sensor i'm gonna make my own wire and plug it in uh plug it into this sensor and i'm just gonna wire it uh to here just with the zip ties and uh, go through the back of the truck and connect to that connection right here one more time the, the wires are on that sensor, on that sensor in the back, they're just uh, green and white, but they convert, they, they change colors once they already here on this connection here, right here. 
they change wires to the white one goes to green and orange and the green one goes to green and light blue so if your computer uh, says that it's a rear uh, driver's side left side i don't know the colors but once you start following it, following it you can kind of open up the the harness and see which wires it converts to what which colors and you can do pretty much the same thing as what i did to the other side hopefully that helps to uh, people that have the same issues let me know uh, if that helped you helped you and uh, you have a wonderful day